Heather, thank right, you. Uh, 12 minutes now after the hour. The unrest and many black leaders calling for protesters to take a page from Martin Luther King Jr. and use peaceful protesting. Yep. One man so frustrated, he went on an epic rant online. Listen. What we're doing out here is not helping. Change is not going to come until we change it. And then I hate to say this, but I'm going to tell you what you need to hear and into what you want to hear. All we know how to do is blame the police and white folks for our actions. All we know how to do is march and riot and loot. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm not going to tell you and tell you we're going to march. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. I'm going to tell you, damn it, let's change. Wow. A lot of motion being echoed across the country now. And joining us, the executive director of the Black Sphere, Kevin Jackson. Kevin, good morning. Thanks for being with us here. You know, you hear this good blogger's morning. take. Do you believe that is truly the message that needs to be sounded? Yeah, he's echoed the sentiments of many black conservatives because, I mean, this type of thing is uncalled for. And what's interesting to me is when, you know, Sharpton came in and I'm standing on the very hallowed ground that he was on yesterday. Ugh. When he comes in, nobody's really talking about the problems that get created by this. Well, so much criticism has been leveled against uh, Al Sharpton and others, black leaders who haven't gone into cities like Chicago, where bringing the light of the camera into those neighborhoods to talk about all of the violence that's unfolding there. Then he shows up, Al Sharpton shows up yesterday. Many say, look, he's just using political opportunity to roll into a city like this. What do you say? Oh, there's no question. Uh, what's funny is the people, the pr people protesting were here to begin with, and Sharpton didn't bring out any new protesters. And he said all the right things because he wants to appear to be the true black leader, uh, you know, that, that uh, he falsely represents. But the fact of the matter is, is he, Barack Obama, and Eric Holder really should have been talking about the bigger issue, which is, uh, I think, law enforcement and how this all occurred and the type right. of de decay the moral decay that's occurring in neighborhoods like this. So uh, so you think the big picture is not so much the incident which needs to be examined, it is what's going wrong in the inner city. But our next guest says the town should remember the lessons of her uncle, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Violence creates many more social problems than it solves. Nonviolent resistance is the most powerful weapon, weapon that oppressed people can use. It is a method of the strong man, not the weak man. Wow, Dr. Alveda King is the director of African American Outreach for Priests for Life and author of this book, King Rules. She joins us right now. Uh, what do you think uh, it does for situations uh, like the Powell situation, the Brown situation, which obviously is a tragedy, when Al Sharpton shows up? Well, you know, when Al Sharpton comes, sometimes I don't know what his goal is, but people continue to riot and things escalate. And so I'm asking now, speak peace, Reverend Sharpton. Speak love. Speak justice. But you can have justice without violence. Uh, Jesus Christ showed that. Gandhi showed that. My Uncle Martin, my dad, A.D., we do that in my pro-life work. Peaceful, nonviolent conflict resolution with loving actions. There must be justice. Absolutely. This action is wrong. I am so saddened by seeing our young people attack like this. African-American young men need to live and not die. But we have to do this as we pursue justice. And there must be justice. I'm praying for his family, his father, his mother, uh, those who have lost this young man. His dreams have been aborted. You know, they said I knew she was going to get that word in there. But his dream has been taken away. He's been killed. So uh, I think this is tragic. We must pray, but we must be peaceful. We must be nonviolent. All right. And, and that is your message. But uh, unfortunately, so far, we have not seen that message play out. And it doesn't seem to be a leader to step up like your uncle and dad uh, did. Dr. Alveda King, thanks so much. Thank you.